Hello, family. Coach Kenneth here. It's a great, wonderful morning here in Florida. And hopefully you're having a great, wonderful morning also, wherever you are. Um, kidney disease. Kidney disease is one of the major health factors in the United States today. And here's the crazy thing about kidney disease. A lot of people are walking around every single day without ever realizing that they have kidney disease until they go to the doctor one day for something else, get a checkup. Then the doctor say, you know what? You got stage three kidney disease. You got stage four kidney disease, right? The thing about kidney disease is just like heart disease. You can walk around with it and never have any symptoms at all. Now, what causes kidney disease? Well, the driving force to kidney disease is a lack of oxygen in the blood. And how does that happen? Lifestyle choices, exposure to different types of chemicals and in the elements in the environment, stress, and most importantly, a lack of hydration, a lack of water. See, you can be dehydrated. You can drink 14 bottles of water every single day, and you think you're hydrating yourself, but the water you're drinking, the water you're consuming is acidic. That means it has no oxygen. So you're drinking, 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 but you're not hydrating your cells, not hydrating your body, and you still are in a very acidic state. Acidic just means lacking oxygen, right? So how do you become more alkaline? How do you become more oxygenated? How do you, how do you drive oxygen to your cells and, most importantly, into your blood? Well, the best way to do that is by eating an alkaline or electric diet, electrical diet. And those foods are primarily, primarily fruits, vegetables, plant-based foods, things that grow from the earth. See, whenever you consume meats or dairy or meat byproducts or eggs, anything of that nature, you know, they have these nutrients and minerals, but, but what they're lacking, they're lacking two of the most important nutrients that your body needs, two of the most important nutrients that your kidneys need. That's oxygen and that's water, right? Think about it. What happens when you cook fried chicken? <laughs> what happens when you, when you cook, cook a piece of steak? What happens when you fry some eggs, right? What happens if you drink some milk? These foods have no oxygen. And if there were oxygen in it beforehand, the only time oxygen was in the foods, those meat-based foods, was when that animal was alive, right? That's the only time. The only time they had water, right? water the body needs to hydrate itself was when those animals were alive and those animals drink water themselves but when you prepare that food prepare that that meal now you're, you're you're devoid of oxygen you're devoid of water so now you can't oxygenate oxygenate your blood your body and you can't bring water you can hydrate your cells so now you're eating foods that are deprived of the two most important nutrients that the body needs now where do you get these nutrients from only from raw plant-based foods that's fruits vegetables seeds legumes things of that nature things that grow from the earth and by consuming these things on a daily basis you're driving or you're, you're absorbing oxygen straight to the bloodstream and that's how you get your breakthrough by eating oxygen and water rich foods now when you eat when you eat meats a lot of meats drink a lot of dairy products it puts a lot of stress on your kidneys, a lot of stress in your organs, period, because you're, it, it doesn't have the oxygen, doesn't have the water, right? And that's what your kidneys need, particularly. So your kidneys have to work extra harder to pull the sodium out of these foods, right? The detox, the, to, to get rid of the uric acid out of the system. And when that's not done properly, one thing that can develop from your kidneys being strained or not properly, you know, not not effectually putting effectively putting it putting put it pulling in the salt the sodium out the body right or getting rid of that uric acid you can develop gout right you can develop kidney disease have kidney damage right kidney failure and you can literally walk around having stage one stage two stage three stage four kidney disease without having any symptoms at all without feeling any pain right until again, you go to the doctor and the doctor say, you know, you got stage three or stage four. And now the next thing they're talking about is putting you on medication or possibly putting you on dialysis. 
which is some place you never want to go in the first place. So in order to reverse kidney disease, you want to increase your plants, increase the plant foods that you're eating, your fruits, vegetables, legumes, and keep them in a raw form, right? Why raw form? Because they're packed with oxygen, packed with water, and that puts very little stress on your kidneys. Now your kidneys can, can use the oxygen from the foods, can use the water from the foods to do what it was designed to do in the first place, detox the body, right? So even people, you know, they, there's a diet that uh, is called the kidney diet, the kidney detox diet that some medical doctors put their patients on when they have kidney disease, right? The, the, those diets are not the greatest because they they're not solely plant-based foods. They have a combination of meats, meat byproducts, right? And that's what caused the kidney issues in the first place. So this doesn't help reverse the kidney disease, right? Or keep you from having kidney failure or keep you from being put on dialysis. What this does is a gradual decrease in function of your kidneys that eventually, eventually leads you to being put on dialysis. So in order to reverse that, you've got to go plant-based, raw plant-based, right? And that has literally helped clients, customers of mine, reverse their kidney function, improve their kidney function, and bring them away from kidney, uh, from dialysis. And the doctors are amazed. They've been amazed by it, asking them, what did you do, right? Because at one point, you were on the road to being put on dialysis. Now, you no longer need dialysis. So the best way to defeat kidney disease to prevent kidney disease, prevent kidney failure, is to go plant-based. And that's the most powerful, powerful diet that you can ever have. And eliminate as much meats as much as possible. Eliminate as much uh, meat byproducts as much as possible, right? And that's how you win. So if you want to find out more information or you want to get my kidney disease or kidney reversal plan, Comment below on this video, share this video with someone you know who might have kidney disease or might even be on dialysis, right? Share this with them. And this plan not only works for people who are on dialysis, it also works for people who have uh, high blood pressure or have type 2 diabetes, right? Even type 1 diabetes because it work, it, it's all hand in hand, right? When the person has kidney disease or have high blood pressure for a long period of time, that often leads to kidney disease or kidney failure. Right? High blood pressure, diabetes, kidney disease, they work together. Right? It's like a domino effect. So this plan works for all of the above. So if you want to find out more, again, find out more information, comment below on this video. Uh, depending on where you're watching this, whether you're on Facebook, whether you're on TikTok, whether you're on Instagram, comment below on this video or inbox me, and I'll talk to you soon. Let's keep winning.